A good beach to head for if you're trying to tick undulate ray off your species list, as for the last few seasons, small ones have been caught here. I'm not sure anyone knows the exact reason they've been found at Widewater or Lansing, beyond sensible guesses of what food source they're after. But if you want to catch one of these beauties, then here is a place to put some hours in. Otherwise, the same species as Shoreham are reported here, so that would include mullet, including reds and golden greys, gurnard, bass, eels, codling, sole, flounders, whiting, thornbacks and bream. Facilities wise, there are public toilets and a tea hut, but don't rely on them always being open, except in the summer. Whilst I wouldn't go so far as to say parking is free in winter, there's never been anyone here to collect parking money on my winter visits. Just down the road from Widewater and a very similar beach. The biggest practical difference is your car's in clear view of the main road here. Good for car safety, not so good if you like to tuck yourself away. Same as with Widewater, there are defined swimming and bathing areas marked by boys to be aware of. Yellow boys are out May to September. Overall, they're probably a good thing, as jet skis aren't allowed within them and you can justifiably say to a swimmer who's thinking of wading out in front of you that the zones are there for them. There's no explicit ban on fishing these areas, but it makes sense to avoid them so you don't get snagged on the chains as much as anything else. <laughs> 